hi welcome back to a, another video so in this video i thought i would show you some of my christmas items so we're just coming up to the end of october and i need to get my stock ready for christmas so i've just got some stuff out of the loft uh, that was my leftover stock from last year and i've got some new stuff that i'm getting ready to go into my shop so as i'm packing it up just checking it's all still good that it's all still priced um for my shop i'm going to pack it into bags as i'm getting out of the boxes i thought i would just show you what i've got give you some christmas craft inspiration and i thought i'd just show you what we've got so i'm going to turn the camera around as i'm packing i'll show you what we've got and then i'll go back downstairs and i'll show you what new things i've got uh, that i'm getting ready as well for christmas because I know it's only October, but you know, I went past next yesterday and they're putting Christmas trees in the window displays already. So people are getting ready for Christmas. So as crafters and sellers, we need to do that too. So if you're new here, then welcome to the channel. If you're already a subscriber, then welcome back and thanks for coming back to the channel. And if you haven't already, then please subscribe. Um, so without further ado, this get into the video so these are the boxes uh, I've got to go through and um, they're just some Christmas wax melt scents um, and then these are the boxes so I'm gonna start going through them and uh, let's see what we've got here's the first box in here I can see already there's some bits that I just need to put aside these are my Christmas napkins so they're just for decoupage they're not for the shop so these I'm just going to put to the side. So then uh, I've got a tablecloth. So my decorations for decorating for Christmas, I'll pack those last so that when I get them out I can pack them or decorate first. So I've got some Christmas jars that I made last year. We've got this penguin, so they're like hanging decorations. Got the penguin. I just want to check that they're all still good and that they're all still glued. We've got the Father Christmas. Just got the acorn. And another penguin so these are all still good and I sell these for $6.99 so pop that back in the box and that can go straight in the bag ready to go there's another box here what's this oh. So these are just Christmas wood pieces for decoupage again. They're not for the shop, they're just for crafting, Christmas crafting. So that can go to the side. We've got our Christmas stockings again. That's personal, so that will go away. Then I've got these Christmas decoupage jars that I made. So they're just normal glass jars and I decoupaged them with those napkins that I showed you before and I made these Christmas jars with some ribbon so we've got that one and then I've got the Santa one so we'll put those in then I've got some Christmas uh, coasters so these are decoupage Christmas coasters there's a snowman couple mr. and mrs. snowman just check they're not stuck together so that's a set of four coasters and then we've got these Christmas ones just check they didn't stick together so pack of four coasters two of those can go in then I've got these decorations 
so just like the fillable ball balls so these ones I've just put some acorns in bit of snow bit of ribbon and they're just fancy ball balls one of those so this one is one that needs some work so this was a kissing couple but as you can see one has fell over so that needs fixing this is a tree with some lights I've taken the batteries out um, because I didn't want the batteries to rust in there so we need to just refill the batteries so I need to check the lights all still work but that's one of those and we've got another Christmas scene again with lights it's got the lampposts no again batteries were all taken out when they went into storage so that they wouldn't rot another one that's come loose so the glue's all come apart but this was a if you can see snowman father christmas with lights so that all lit up and then it had the reef decoration so that needs fixing on the top that's just a random decoration that i had so that will just go in another tree lit light up decoration so I need to check all these lights work. This was a gnome. Another light up one. This one was a gingerbread. This is a gingerbread man with all the Christmas uh, bits inside and that lights up. And again, this was another kissing couple with snow, um, but they've come apart as well, so they need gluing. So these ones need a bit of attention before I can pack those up. So we're into the next box. So in here, I've got some more tablecloth. I've got this hanging Christmas tree and it's got the hooks so this was um, to hang uh, decorations on so again that's just a decorative piece this was another decorative piece just let's put a bit of Christmas cheer into my stand then we got these gonks so my mum oh no my mum did make oh no this is one of my gonks um, okay. my cats are running around if you can hear them being crazy so then I made some advent calendars last year so they're in here and you've got the 24 cents so how many of these have I got one, two four advent calendars more wax melts. I made these Christmas boxes uh, of wax scents. And when you open this box, you can just smell wax melts. So I've got some of those. Are these priced up? Oh, yeah, they're priced up. So they can go straight in the box. Then we made this big candle, it's a tree candle, and this was made in frankincense and myrrh, so we pop that in, got some other just pillar candles, so they're wrapped up like so, so we can just go in. Then these are the gonks. So my mum made these. 
So these are the little ones. Little elves. Here's a big gonk. Here's another one. And another one. One more. So we'll package these up. So in this little box, it's full of uh, goodies. So I've got some random snap bars, Christmas snap bars, the ones that I had left. As it stands, I'm not going to make any more snap bars this year because I've got lots of Christmas wax melts and I've got all these little ones like Christmas tree, there's a Santa, then I've got the bees, but they're all like Christmas scents. There's just loads of them in here. There's like snowflakes, there's like holly berry, so loads of Christmas scents. And then we've gone to like some resin makes, there's a resin star. Another big gold star. I've got the bell. So these are all like resin uh, Christmas decorations, and then it's full of like small ones in here. This is a, a stand. Resin stand. I just forget how much I've made. I've got these ball balls because what I've got in here, so this is something I made out of beading, bead weaving. I made these um, ball ball covers. And I've just made a new one. I can show you that when we're downstairs. I've made one in blue. So it's part of my craft kit. So we've got those. So I've got another ball ball. So I think I must have another one of these. More decorations. That's my cat going mad. Decoupage decorations. More wax melts. Might need to gather all these wax melts in a little pot somewhere. This is a beaded snowflake I made. And then um, I've stiffened it with Mod Podge. So I've made that one and I don't know if I've got, oh yeah, I've got one of these ones left. I know I sold one of these as soon as I put it out last year because a woman saw it and was just amazed for the fact that I'd made it poinsettia so these were bead weaved that I made last year so I've got those um, gosh, there's so much like there's so much in this box more decoupage then I've got all these little resin ones Another, another big star. More wax melts. Got 
so many wax melts. Need to gather those. Oh gosh, forgot about these. I've got these big ones, these big Christmas ones as well. That's what I mean. I don't want to make more Christmas wax melts until I sort of sell more of those although I'm gonna make some Christmas crystal scented crystals there's another one of the beaded snowflakes this one's got the angels on another decoration then I made some of these last year the acrylic ones Meet me under the mistletoe. Naughty is the new nice. So these ones are quite cute. Best gift ever. I believe in Santa. So these were done on the Cricut on acrylic blanks. Then I done one for these snowflakes. Gosh, I've got so much. Look at these. So these are on mirrored ball balls. So they're just flat. Happy holidays. Jingle bells. Jingle bells. Some of those. Then I done. I think this was engraved with my Cricut 2021 but then I also engraved if you can see that mirrored ones with my Cricut it's gonna be hard to show you the mirrored ones Santa's best teacher that says that one just said Noel so these ones I put on that little wooden tree and then I've got another tree which all these other little decorations go on which I'll show you in a sec then these ones were oh no this was was this a glitter one this oh yeah this was a resin one happy holidays and then I just put that on with the cricket this was engraved let me see if I can get this to focus. So it was a 2021 and it's got all the memories on there, the year we got vaccinated. And I've actually done another version of this uh, that I'm going to be sublimating. Um, it's not ready yet. Whether it will be ready by the time this video goes up. So we've got all these engraved mirrored ones. And these were all engraved on the Cricut. So then I've got these um, type of glitter ones. So these I glittered with Mod Podge and then sprinkled glitter on acrylic blanks. And then I put some sort of Christmas SCG on it. Santa is my bestie. My first Christmas, our Merry Christmas, have your elf a Merry Little Christmas, I mean there's just so much, oh then I've made these, little beaded Christmas characters. button Christmas tree beaded Christmas decoration these are with bezels and I've got some more of these coming I'm actually going to make these more of these I've got a new UV resin and I'm going to make these into earrings Christmas earrings this year 
then I made loads of these so these are wine charm Christmas wine charm rings and I've got a load of them in this box so they need to go in like a little dish what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn you round and just show you what's left in this box because if I just keep going through all the tiny little things in here we would be here all day because I've still got to show you what we've got downstairs so this is still what's left in the box what I haven't shown you so you can just see if there's anything that jumps out that you want me to show you more of you know look, more little decorations got these little decorations um, more Christmas wax melts um, bit more resin so I made these resin ball balls and then I just thought they're a bit boring so then I jazz them up with a bit of cricket wording made these little dragonflies and then put ribbon on them what else have we got in here there's more engraved ones but in silver more, more wax melts let's put these out more engraved 2021 and I mean although we're not in 2021 anymore like I'm even making 2021s because people want to remember you know have a memorial of them Christmas tree and I've got some more of these I'm going to make them into earrings snowman so yeah this one it warped you can see but actually it, it almost makes the effects of the ball ball so I quite liked that I kept that so these are all the decorations that will go onto a tree and excuse the puppy mats but this is the tree it's currently sat in the window in the spare room but it's one of these white trees from Hobbycraft and all those decorations they will hang on this tree in the shop um, so then people can see them easier so just one of these trees from Hobbycraft and that's how I display the decorations so I've shown you the bits upstairs that were from last year they were last year's Christmas things now let me show you what I've been working on uh, leading up to this Christmas um, some things are still work in progress um, some things I haven't finished um, so some things I just need to price up so I'm going to show you what I've got going on uh, and as my crafting skills have developed since last year some of my products have changed so let me show you what we've got so firstly I've got these decorations so I'll show you these ones first. These are my wood lasered ones. So these are done on wood pieces uh, that were already pre-drilled and they came with this ribbon. So I've just wood lasered these on with my laser pecker. So these, these are done, they've all been varnished and prepped I just need to price them up so that's those ones and then I've got these ones let me show you these first so this is then onto my sublimation which I'm just absolutely loving sublimation I wish I'd done it sooner I was so um and ah in about buying a sublimation printer and doing sublimation and I'm so glad I did because I've just upped my game I think when it comes to crafting with sublimation so here's my new decoration here's that one that one and you can find some great designs on Etsy or design bundle or you can design them your own if you design them yourself if you're an artist and I've got some more of these sort of style ones 
to come. I'm just in the middle of designing them. I just haven't printed them yet. So if I have printed them and done them before this video goes up, I'll show you. If not, make sure to follow on my Instagram because my products will be posted on there. And then these ones, I'm just blown away. So I saw these and I just so badly wanted to do them. So they're the family portrait Christmas decorations, the so personalised decorations. So this is my family. So it's us with all our pets. And obviously this is a customised piece, so um, I'll put this as an example in my shop. Um, I'll put something on the back that people can order online. If you're in the UK and you want to order one of these, then be sure to check out my website. The link will be down below and you can order a customised piece. But I've done all these ones already. I've got some more that I've had orders for that I need to print. But I've done the designs. But I just haven't printed. This was a double sided one. But these are just stunning I, I just love these um so these are customized christmas pieces so if you're in the uk like i say if you want to order one of these be sure to check out the description um and you can order those on my website you know i showed you upstairs the um ball ball decoration here's the new one that i did so it's a blue one i still need to tidy it so you still got all the strings need to snip in and what have you but this is in the blue I need to find a nice big plain ball ball that this fits over but that would sit over the ball ball and decorate it so that's that so that needs to just be finished off that's that then I've got got these, let me just move these out of the way. Beaded snowflakes. So these are almost finished, I just need to do the ribbon. It's easier if I lift you up this way. So these are beaded snowflakes that I just need to put a ribbon on and then they hang so I've done them in different colour combos different bead combinations so they're my green ones I've done them in a black and clear I've done them I might get them all out I've done them in blue and the red, or peachy red, like that. So that's the snowflakes, so they just need a nice big ribbon and they can either be sun catchers or hang them on your tree, however you want. And um, what else have I got? These are the bezels that I was talking about. So, so far I've only received these in the post. Um, so I'm going to be making these into earrings, Christmas earrings with my new UV resin um, so we're going to make some nice Christmas earrings this year so that's those and keeping on the sublimation theme uh, I've been making sublimation Christmas cups so, and I designed these myself so this is my Christmas movies watching mug It's the same on the other side. So it's that one. I hope I don't smash it now. There's my other one. So, you know, with um sublimation you can do so much there's my other one and then these ones 
these Starbucks mugs that I've been making in um, different colours. So that's it for my Christmas crafting bits. I'm sure there's more to come that I've probably completely forgotten that I've ordered or that's on my to-do list. I do write to-do lists on my whiteboard. Um, ribbon on snowflakes. That's what I've got on my to-do. Um, I want to make some more queen hearts. I made some memorial Queen Elizabeth hearts. Um, so I think I've only got like one left in my shop. So I want to make more of those. Um, I know there's some ceramics. I'm waiting for some ceramic uh, sublimation blanks to come. So I've got some Christmas ceramics uh, decorations that I want to do, sublimation ones. Um, but they haven't arrived yet so once they arrive i've got the designs ready i'm gonna sublimate those oh and my christmas scent crystals um i don't know if i filmed any videos doing scent crystals um but if you want to know how to do christmas set or not christmas scents or how to make scent crystals uh, with salts uh then i i probably will film a video i should put that on my to-do list so when I make them for Christmas, I'll record it. Yeah, I'll, I'll put that on my to-do list so um, that can be a video to come out soon. So I hope you've got some inspiration and it's given you plenty of ideas of what you can make for Christmas. My head is buzzing. See, I have a big whiteboard. I'll give you a quick glimpse. And it has a to-do list. It has a what I need to do this week, although I still didn't tick everything off. Um, it has my video ideas, I have a list of items that I want to make, that I have ideas in my head that of stuff that I want to make that I don't make, um, or that I want to make that I just haven't got time to do. Every time a new idea pops in my head, I write it down, um, because my head is constantly buzzing with ideas. Um, and that's why I wanted to do this video, because I knew I had to get my Christmas stuff sorted, and I thought, well, whilst I'm just looking through it, I'll grab the camera and show you at the same time. Um, so as a fellow crafter, I've been like scrolling YouTube thinking, I, I need like videos, I need new videos for new inspiration of stuff that I can make because it's just what I love to see as a crafter, as, an, as a creator, as a creative. Um, so anyway, I'm babbling. So yep, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon. Bye.